Hello. In this tutorial, I'd like to explain to you how you can conduct correlation analysis if you want to run time series, for example, time one, time two, time three. And so if I have coded my data, like this is one of the analyses that I have conducted um, currently in a paper uh, submitted to a journal. So a lot of people they have challenges trying to know how they can conduct a correlation analysis using time series study, for example, where they collected data time one, time two, time three. It could be very difficult sometimes if you don't know how you can go about it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can run that analysis. So I have coded the data under the variable view. You can see I have the control variables here. And then I have time one, time two, okay, time two, and then uh, time three. Okay, so um, I have, for example, persistent time one, persistent time two, persistent time three. And then uh, I have support time one, time two, and then time three, okay? If I want to run a correlation analysis here using this data, and I want to show that um, in that correlation analysis, time one, time two, and time three. So I will simply go to analyze correlation by variate. So I will select support time one, time two, time three. I will select tax value one, task value number two, task value three. I will select another variable here, expectancy for success one, expectancy for success two, expectancies for success three. And then student persistent, learning persistent one, persistent two, and then three. And then if I want, I like to put the age. Okay, so maybe I can put the age and uh, um, I can draw the age. Put them here okay so you can see the age and then i will select here mean and standard deviation if i want okay and then i'll click okay so you can see i have a total response the respondents uh, are 608 and this is the correlation analysis now that the result of the correlation analysis has come out have been produced how do we report it in our research study? Okay, one thing you might want to do is you will double click here and select, and then I will go to format cell properties, I'll put this in two decimal places. Some changes have taken place in the, in, the, in the data output. Then I'll click OK. Now, close. The next thing I will have to do is to copy this data and go to Microsoft Excel Sheet and then arrange it. So this is Microsoft Excel. What I will do is to paste the document and then I will come here and clean up here, clear here, and then I will also insert another column, and then I will name here mean, I will name here standard deviation. So the next thing I will do is to clean up this work because I just want to see the correlation. So to do that, I will select, select this, I'll right click. You can see I have deleted those. Then I'll also select again. Then I will right click, delete, okay? I'll come here again, do the same thing.
So this is looking pretty good now. So the next thing I'll need to do is I'll come and remove this side because I want to uh, leave it the other way around. I'll hold down the control button. I'll select all of them. So it will appear in diagonal. I will say clear content, okay? I will clear content. Then here, I will delete and I will delete here, okay? And this is gone. So because correlation goes diagonal, this to this, okay? So I will come here and number them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Then I will come here and number them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, sorry, 13, 14. Okay, I will select this, put them at the center. Okay, and then I will select times new Roman. All right, they're looking good. Now, this is where I'll put the values of the mean and standard deviation if I want. So I can go back to SPSS, the outputs, and pick up, sorry. So I will pick up this and then fix the values. So I will simply cut, I will cut carefully. So this is how you're gonna do that and um, to be looking good. So at this point, you can see that your, your document is looking pretty good. So all you need to do is to, and then we actually number this, or we'll, we'll put it in APF format. Then we right click, format cell, we go to border, click this, this. If you want it to be bold, you can select this. Now, the next thing is to also right click. This is looking pretty good. So your correlation result is ready. And at this point, you now copy, you need to copy at this point and then paste into your Microsoft Word to continue explaining the, the results, okay? Another thing you might want to do is that here, you might decide to put this in, uh, let's say, uh, in two decimal places, okay? Uh, you might want to put this in two decimal places. Okay, this is how you can present your work, your correlation analysis in your research. So at this point, it's now looking pretty good. So you simply copy this and put in your Microsoft Word. If you want, uh, you can bold here. You simply highlight here and then bold it. So you can simply copy this and put into your Microsoft Word document and then go on to interpret the analysis and then move on from there. So this is how you can do that. If you find this video helpful, please like the video 
and then subscribe to the uh, to this channel so you can um, learn more when I do next video and then leave your comments uh, if you have issues you may want you may want me to further explain. Thank you very much.